Well, good morning. This is take two because Lincoln and Lulu kept barking and wanted to go in and out and in and out twice. So I have to do my video a second time. It is Sunday, June the 23rd, and it's a gorgeous day out. We had some rain last night. We got some more rain coming tonight, and it's just totally refreshing and fantastic. Thank you, Lord. We're going into the beautiful King James Bible, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21. We're continuing with the 613 laws of Moses. If one be sla found slain in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who hath slain him, then thy elders and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is Next unto the slain man, even the elders of that city shall take a heifer which hath not been wrought with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer unto a rough valley, which is neither eared nor sown, and shall strike off the heifer's neck there in the valley. And the priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near. For them the Lord thy God hath chosen to minister unto him, and to bless in the name of the Lord. And by their word shall every controversy and every stroke be tried. And all the elders of that city that are next unto the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer that is beheaded in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Be merciful, O Lord, unto thy people Israel whom thou hast redeemed, and lay not innocent blood unto thy people of Israel's charge, and the blood shall be forgiven them. So shalt thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and the Lord thy God hath delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and hast a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. Then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head and par her nails, and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and bewail her father and mother a full month. And after that thou shalt go in unto her to be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. And it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whither she will. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her, because thou hast humbled her. If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated. And if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he hath. For he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay a hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of this city, This son, this our son, is stubborn and rebellious, and will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of this city shall stone him with stones, that he die. So shalt thou put away evil from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he is hanged 
for he that is hanged is accursed of God, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. Wow. Pretty draconian measures, huh? Taking your obstinate, stubborn son to the elders and they're going to stone him to death for being a drunkard. Hmm. Well, a glutton and a drunkard. Stoned to death for being a glutton and a drunkard. That's incredible. These are the laws that God laid down so that they could gain their righteousness because they would not adhere to him in the first place. So he said, okay, I'm going to give you these laws you're going to have to live by. That's pretty drastic, isn't it? That's how stiff-necked they were, that God had to do this to them. I wonder how many of these people uh, adhere to these laws today. Kind of amazing. Quite draconian in their concept. Death is the final answer. For most things... Well, I guess that's for us to ponder on, isn't it? You know, we, uh, we hear these words and what they had to live by, and all of this helped form and shape the Israel that we know today. And so it's instructive in that. And uh, we thank God that we believe in Jesus Christ, that we no longer have to follow these laws, that he was a fulfillment of the law and the prophecy. that he encompassed all of that for our sakes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Have a great day. Remember, God loves you. I love you too. Bye for now. Speak to you tomorrow.